Ashley Needles here. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button. So I wanted to talk about some tools about having compassion on yourself. I added a second video to this about why I am sometimes an atheist who prays. So uh, you can go ahead and watch that. But nonetheless, prayer, even when I'm atheist, though I'm now hovering into agnostic, is something that can be very, very beneficial. Being an atheist is awesome, don't get me wrong. I love believing in science more than I believe in God, but I also love spirituality. So anyway, that said, prayer has helped me because it's great to listen to, to not listen to, it's great to have a compassionate listener to talk to. So even if that compassionate listener is imaginary, it can still be very beneficial and help you a ton, or at least it helps me a ton. I grew up Mormon, so maybe it's just this calming therapy of having something to hold on to. Uh, next, I write letters of compassion to myself, um, or I pretend that it's somebody else telling me this, and I wonder, what would I say to somebody else going through this? How would I treat them? What would I do? And that tends to give me a lot more compassion for myself. Um, so yeah, not everybody knows how to have compassion for themselves. They're just like, what is that? What does it even mean, have compassion for myself? Well, I'm in it. Of course I'm feeling it. I don't, yeah. No, um, when you have compassion for yourself, you kind of get to have a little bit of distance from the problem because you don't feel like you have to handle it all at once. You get to have it take a deep breath and be like, it's okay. I'm doing my best with the resources I have. And by the way, that's one of my favorite quotes. I am doing the best I have with the, resource, with the resources I have available. I am doing the best I can. Excuse me, not have. I am doing the best I can with the resources I have available. It is. It was given to me when I was... Um, 17, going to Dr. Fife uh, as for my therapist because um, I had gotten out of, <sighs> well, we'll not go into that. Um, but nonetheless, I bounced around when I was 16. So, or 16 to 19, I really bounced around. I think I lived in 20 places in about one year. Um, I've been through some really crappy shit in my life. I know people who've been through crappier shit, so I don't feel like my shit really is uh, all that awesome, but I have been through some shit. Um, so learning to have compassion for myself was one of the things that got me through it. It is an incredible source of strength, having compassion for yourself. Uh, the reason that I'm making this video is I made another video that talks about the quote from Buddha. If you, um, Buddha said, if you do not have compassion, if your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. Sorry, I wanted to get that right. Um. Yeah, my brain is all fuzzy when I make these videos because I always get really nervous. I kind of hate making videos, but I do anyway because traffic, marketing, I'm writing books, I'm trying to be an author, I'm making money a little bit through stocks, enough to survive, and um, yeah, but I want to eventually get divorced, so if I ever want to get divorced, I should probably learn to be a best-selling author or ha do something else that, you know, makes a ton of money, and so I do YouTube videos to market. Uh, it's funny, I used to love seeing myself on camera and things, but then my self-esteem got torn down, like torn to shreds, and I have a hard time being on camera these days. Um, and I also went through some, like I used to love acting, and then I went through some really traumatic experiences, Once, one when I was 14 and another when I was 24, that got me out of that, so that's why I really am not pursuing acting. Uh, So anyway, I am pursuing writing because writing has always been very therapeutic for me, just like prayer. Um, so writing letters of compassion for yourself, it's where you sit there and you try to be like the mother you never had, or you try to um, act, treat yourself as though you're a little child who has no one, and you just try to have compassion on yourself, and it's it can be very beneficial, it can be very useful. Um, other people giving you compassion, though, you do need that in life. You really do. You can't just be the only person to fill your bucket. So I definitely recommend reaching out if you need help. Um, Messi, what else was I going to say? Huh, oh, baby? What else? Remember? Do you remember what I was going to say? Huh? Yeah. I'm tired because you decided that you wanted to play all night and didn't let me sweep. I'm tired. Yeah, somebody wanted to wake me up at 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. Today, she has not been wanting to let me sleep because when I'm working, she's sleeping. Yeah, when I'm at the computer, 
she just lays next to me and falls asleep. And so my life is a little bit bizarre now because I have a dog that wakes me up all the time when I'm trying to sleep. Huh. Yeah. Who's guilty of that? Who's guilty? Huh? Are you guilty of that? Hey. I'm talking to you. Are you guilty? Anyway. So I have the best dog ever. Even when she wakes me up, she's awesome. So I've got to wake her up now because she's been waking me up. So... Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Just sitting here yawning. Um, okay, so let's see. We talked about prayer. We talked about letters to the self. We talked about pretending that your problems are somebody, somebody else is telling you those problems. Remembering that you are just a little speck in the universe and just to love yourself because you are so tiny and little and almost... Like, you are completely microscopic in this huge universe. Like, you, actually, if we were as big as the universe and we were trying to see a human, we wouldn't be able to with the technology that we have because the universe is super huge and we are super tiny in it. I mean, even the Earth is like a microscopic speck of dust compared to the whole universe. Like, if the whole universe was a human trying to see the Earth, they would need lots of microscopes. I don't even know if they'd be able to see the Earth. Isn't that crazy? Crazy how tiny and insignificant we are in... in in this whole thing. But we're here and our lives are significant because we make them significant. Dang it. Or something like that. I don't know. There's a lot of things I don't know. I just know that, that I'm trying to do my best with the resources I have available. That's my quote. Actually, it's not my quote. It was given to me. But that's my favorite, like, one-liner. that? Um, hmm. So, I was going to say something about... I'll make, I'll leave that for another video. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this. Hit the subscribe. You can either hate or like this video. It doesn't matter to me, but just know that I love you. You're awesome. You rock.